is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best to have out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 35, NASDAQ's down 128, SP's off 18 and a half, gold. Gold contract up 10 cents, trading at 1944 an ounce. We have silver down 22 cents. $23.28 an ounce, light sweet crude, off 60 cents, $86.94 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, up nine ticks, trading 109.31. The 30-year up five ticks at 119.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 186 ticks, trading out at 105.047. Euro's at 106. Yen is trading out here at 147. The British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you're going to have a rejection of lower price. You're going to have a huge amount of a contraction of volume. Right now, you get the SPY. The SPY hit 442.75 today. You're at 444.35. You're coming into 83 million. We've only done 45. So, yeah, we might do 60. But bottom line, you already got a rejection. You're coming into the strength. That's saying this market's not done going up. We look at the Qs. Now, this is amazing on the Qs. If I, I just did that update, and the reason it's amazing, on both of them, it's actually amazing, just because the way Apple's coming down. So if we look at the Qs, same type of setup, you, you're, you come down to 369, you're tra trading 371, you're coming into 58 million, you've done 40, and it's already rejected lower price. Now, notes and bonds, this is, this is also a rejection of lower price. We take a look at the 10-year, and what you're going to see, the 10-year is going into 2.7 million contracts. And it's only done a million contracts out here today. Same deal, coming into the strength. There's two different, there's two different signs of strength as the 10-year came off the lows. So bottom line, it's saying that wants higher price also. And good old King Dollar. We got to go. Oh, well, let's do gold next. We go to the gold contract. And this is what, you know, there's divergence here in a monster way, particularly with the dollar over this 104.699. And the gold contract, you have 110,000 contracts. And you're coming into, we got down in 1940 today. You trade in 1944. And you're coming into 174,000 contracts. And then if we go to the dollar, we look at the dollar. This is telling me the dollar, you know, more than likely is going to fail at this level. I mean, it's over, it's over the level right now. Uh, pretty cool how it's set up, actually. It's kind of wild because you get a, yourself a really nice triangle that you're over. And the number to continue to watch, folks, is the 104.699. That's the number. That's the number it took out. You're at 105.049 right now. Let's go to Costa and... 
Arlington, Mass. Costa, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tommy. How are you, sir? So good to hear that voice, man. How you been? Yes. Good, good, Tommy. How about yourself? Good, thank you. Good. So... Hey, my question... Okay. Yep. My, my question is on Intel. I bought it last year, last June, at 43. Okay. And a half. Is it going back there? Yes, it sure is. An ABC up. Let's go take a look at it. Right. You got to take a look at Intel. So what you have is this. The low is 24, the high is 38. That's today, okay? You know, you get a sweet ABC up here. You know, you get, even on the daily, so you can see the daily. The daily's taking this out. You needed 43 million. You get 45 already. The cool thing is that you also have it on the weekly, Costa. You take this on the weekly, and you're going to see you're taking out the, you need 170, and right now, we have 125. And so you're averaging this week. Let's just go look at this. That's telling me that you're going to get it because you're averaging, yeah, you get 45 today. You're going to probably get 50 today. If you get 50 tomorrow, oh, actually, you get 35 to 40 tomorrow, you get an ABC structure up. You know, so now the structure gets you 4256. So let's go see what's at 4256. One second. Okay. Oh, look at this. Hold it. This is cool. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. You might have a... Yeah, you get a monthly too. One second. It might be the same number though. 33. 24. Yeah, it's the same number. It's the same number. So I suspect what will happen is this. You'll probably go all the way up to ice, which is, <laughs> this is crazy how this works. So ice is 43.12. You'll probably make it all the way up there. Now, normally when that happens, uh, Costa, is that the first time up, you don't make it through. I mean, you kind of know the drill. It gets up, you finish an ABC structure, as long as it pulls back with light volume, you know, you're building cars, then you see it go sideways for a while and then it'll build enough juice in order to basically get to higher price but right now you get a nice setup man and you know it looks to me like you know you're going to get back to right where you bought it at least and okay Tommy. and the, the market itself you can see this is about as deviant as you can get man um you know we're in a bad time of the year for the market but it refuses to give it up like today is like a, a classic you're coming down the volume's light. You're already rejected lower price. I mean, we've all been doing this long enough, folks. Everyone, you know, is you're not scared, but September is is a tough month, and it's turning into just the opposite. And I think I think it has to do with I think the bond market bottomed, and I think you're going to see this dollar fail. If you get the dollar to fail, everything's going to go higher. Have a great one, Costa. Thanks for the call. It was great hearing your voice again, man. All right. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow up 46, Nasdaq's down 121, S&Ps are off 16 and a half. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter Market Insights firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now is trading up 56. You got the NASDAQ down 118. S&Ps are off 15 and a half. And let's get over and take a look at Apple. So Apple, bottom line, is getting smoked in the context of the China offices, they can't bring the phones in there anymore. So when you take a look at this, you have two different things happening, man. We, we got to a high with light volume. You, you never tested the high. You don't have to with light, because you had light volume. Now you're coming off it with huge volume. And then if we put this on a weekly, what you're gonna see is that this whole climb, we already got, we already got back inside the lower range. So this thing is set up to make a run down to like, what is that, one? First, yeah, 155, right here. That's 155 right there, you know. So and the, the amazing part when I was saying about the aspect of, it's amazing that the NASDAQ, you know, I mean, Apple's even bigger than the S&P, but it's amazing that, the, the, that both of them are actually rejecting lower price and have lighter volume. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord from the Ord Oracle. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D-Oracle.com. That's Ord, O-R-D-Oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, I, I sent you over some charts. I, uh, I have them. go over them here. I have them. All right, all right. Let's, chart, let's, let's do chart number one. Okay. Um, which is uh, the bullish percent index. What uh, bullish percent index for the gold miners index? What yes. this chart does is actually measures the percent of stocks that are point and figure buy signals. So. Oh, interesting. Um, that, that that a point and figure buy signals, right? Yeah, it's a point and figure buy. Signals. Tom Dorsey. Okay. And, okay. Cool. Uh, so anyhow, um, what I did was I made a ratio out of it. Okay. So I put the bullish percent index slash GDX ratio. Yeah, and I and I tried just using the bullish percent index RSI on it, and it didn't really come out well. So what this thing does is actually when this bullish percent the buy signals and the gold miners index really go through the floor, and GDX kind of stays is pretty close to the same price. That's when the RSI drops down. Okay. So you want me to repeat that? Yes. So, so anyhow, when the when there's less, when the bullish, 
when there's a, a bunch of cell signals going on. Okay. And GDX really doesn't move down much. Nice. That's when the RSI goes down. I get it. So, so, so you know, it's kind of an usual indicator. But it works well. This chart goes back to 2008, looks like. Well, you know what's so and cool, the, Tim, is that I, I think you probably have, when we were doing workshops, that you were probably there when we had uh, Tom Dorsey there, too. And he was doing, he was all over point and figure. What happens with point and figure, folks, it's a great system, but it's always slow. So this is pretty cool that you did that ratio, man. So I get it. Yeah. Get, yeah, right. Yeah, the, yeah the, ratio, the ratio speeds everything up and gives you closer to where you need to be. Right. And, uh, yeah, I was there with Tom Dorsey. You're yeah. right. Uh, well, anyhow, um, anyhow the, all the blue lines there are the times when the RSI of this ratio got below minus 25. Or as I put this chart on this morning, it was about 15 and 15.59 be exact. Okay. And so and so it kind of measures the plunges. And so plunges are really good for the market. You don't want the market gradually go down. Oh, yeah. You want the market just scream down. Right. Scream down is when all the opportunities arise. Right. So I do a lot of stuff with panic and oh, yeah. and uh, uh, surges and down surges and all this other stuff. And that's where all the opportunities seem to rise. So Right now, uh, as we're putting this update on, or you know, I wrote this, put this chart, sent it to you. It's fifteen point five nine. Anything below twenty five is a buy is a buy signal. Okay. But really, the mo you need the momentum to turn up, and right. it really hasn't turned up yet. We're just saying we're probably hitting the floor. Right. And um, well, so when listen it gets to this. Above, this uh, is minus twenty five. Uh, it's probably even though it's after the low. That's probably when the the rally really starts. Uh, so, and also, I want to talk on GDX there. I have a red line drawn across the GDX chart, which is right below that. Yes, ratio. I see that. And, and if you notice that, we're right smack on a on a uh, trend line there. Uh, kind of the highs and lows. We did fall below last year in the August decline, but we're at a support area too, and we got an oversold condition here on the RSI. So we got a, quite a bit of evidence that we're probably at some sort of a significant low. And would you also have here, yeah, you know, let me pull this chart over here just so you can see it, folks, and Tim can see it, too. The, you're coming into the strength that we had coming off the bottom. We had 39 million shares, and there's only 9.8 million, 9 .8 million. That's it. You know, yeah. it already rejected that low. It rejected 28.16, and the low is 28.20, and now you're trading at 28.32. Kind of wild. Yeah. 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 So, and actually, the... Uh, not change up, but this is a weekly chart. Nice. So nice. Um, yep. So th there's something developing right now as we're talking. We've been saying this for the last couple of weeks, and nothing's really happened. But something is really developing on on a bigger time frame. These signals that when they do trigger, if you go back and look at time, you know those signals are are a year, um, sometimes even longer. So. Um, uh, we're looking at you know a, a rally that may last into next July, August, September. Yes. So, uh, so anyhow, let's flip to the next chart. Okay. That's, so, I'm, and, anyhow, the, the bottom window is the uh, now this is a daily chart, so it's, it's okay. A, it's the shorter term chart, and we've been talking about this chart here. I think going back to July, and 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 we pointed out on the bottom chart is the. Uh, GDX up down volume percent with the yep. 50 day average. And so every time it's got down below minus 20, I always said that, you know, the decline is over. Well, the decline's over. What happens though? The market flips sideways. Right. And that, and that sideways pattern can last, uh, that one in the last six months and the other one had four months. We're two months into it right now. You're right. Everyone went crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and now we need a close above zero. We did have it last week. Now we kind of fell below it. We're minus uh, about three and a half as okay. we're putting this update on. But it really needs to get above 50, and or zero rather, and stay above zero. Yes. And that's when the, the majority of the rally begins. And that's all that blue area on the chart. Every time I see it's it. been above uh, zero, that's when the meat of the rally starts. And so we're kind of above it, we're kind of below it, but you know, we may go sideways, could go sideways for another couple of weeks, don't know. But going back to the first chart, we're at a bottom. Right. So, right. Uh, you know, the decline's over, can we 
you know, wind around here for, you know, days or even a couple of weeks, you know, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know, know, but anyhow, the decline's over. We're going sideways. This gave a signal back in July. We're already gone sideways for two months now. And so, you know, maybe we we start this month, maybe we start next month, don't know. But we are going to start, at some point, a rally. And, so you know, this is how the, these gold the stocks trade. Go. It, it oh, seems, oh, I yeah. see your time is about running out. I'll hold on. Yeah, and, you know, it seems, Tim, this is how these gold stocks always trade, man. I mean, do you know what I mean? They yeah. they drive you up a wall, and then when they come off the lows, man, holy cow. I mean, they come off like a yeah. rocket ship, so it's really interesting. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 52, Nasdaq's down 127, S&Ps are off 17. Tim and I are coming right back. And don't forget, you can get hold of Tim every trading day. Ord, O-R-D-Oracle.com. Tim and I come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 64. NASDAQ is down 115. S&Ps are down 14 and a half. Okay, Tim, uh, we're ready. All right, let's go to chart number three. Okay. Okay, chart one was a weekly chart. Yeah. That, that was showing that the market is exhausted to the downside. Chart two is a daily chart, and it's hovering around zero. It needs to be above zero to really say the short-term trend is turned up. It's, it's at zero. And this is a monthly chart. 
So this looks at the the big picture, and it goes back to 2010. And what the chart is, the bottom window is the the cumulative of up down volume uh, percent. Okay. Now, the major is the up down volume in uh, GDX. The next window higher is the monthly advanced decline percent for GDX. So it's basically really shows what the market's really doing internally. Yes. And what I, what I found out that the bottom window, which is the up down volume, actually has more of a meaning to what GDX does than actually the advanced decline. And I don't know why that is, but all the signals are more reliable off the up down volume percent. Okay. And I, 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 uh, I had another chart, but it got late in the day. I didn't email it over to you, but I put a, a Bollinger or a percent. Bollinger Band on that bottom chart. Yes. And what that tells you, the percent Bollinger Band tells you when you're hitting the upper Bollinger Band or the lower Bollinger Band. Right. And went back, went back in time, and we're actually hitting the lower Bollinger Band. We did that back in 2019 and also 2016. So it's kind of a rare event. And we hit it twice here over the last couple of months. I think it hit in July, and we're hitting it right now again, where this up down volume on the monthly time frame is actually below a lower Bollinger Band. And previous times had done that, it was at a significant low, as you can just look at 2016 sure. and also 2019. You know, and the market had, a, you know, basically a multi-year rally uh, going from that point on. So I'm assuming we're doing the same thing here. But the market, to really say the market is an uptrend is when the uh, the uh, up down volume percent closes above the mid Bollinger Band. Now, sometimes you get a little late. If you look at 2019, the rally is already going on for about, you know, six months or better. So it's kind of a late thing, but it does confirm that you're finally in an uptrend. And this thing doesn't really wiggle a lot. They get false signals. No, that would make sense uh, because you're you're in a monthly, right? So, I mean, so yeah, the cool you're, thing you're is you can you can so use your words, you, you can use your so, dailies so, and weeklies in order to figure out where you're at, and then once the monthly turns, it's like heaven on earth. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. You just basically you should be long. You know, and this is if you look at the bottom window there, that up down volume, it gave a sell signal back in 2021, and it didn't really budge up or down pretty much just kept declining, even though if you look at GDX, it had some significant rallies in there. But overall, it was a, a pretty much of a downtrend. That's why I kept saying that, you know, a lot of these gold stocks just got the crap beat out of them. Right. And they remain beat out of them. And that's a good thing on a longer term basis. Uh, but on a, if you're trying to trade, or if, if you're, in other words, if chances are, if you, if you bought after, 2021, when this thing turned down, you had to trade that particular gold stock. But most likely, it went up and came right back down. Right. So right. I'm looking at the time now. We're probably entering that actually you can hold long that gold stock once you get above the mid Bollinger Band. So it won't be a trading range. It'll be an impulse wave. Yes. Similar to 2019 and 2016, you hold on and most and this stock most likely. Over, you know, this once these signals are generated, if you look at the signals there, they're they're two three years, you know, long. You know, last sell signal was going to 2021. In general, that's still on a sell signal. But I got some other, in, you know, like I showed you, and some other indicators that well, the decline's done and we should be turning up. So once this thing turns up, it becomes a, a trending market. So right. You, we don't have BGO anymore, like AEM. You know, it's been a garbage up and down market over the years. Yes. You know, since 2021. Well, chances are this thing turns up. We're going to start making higher highs, higher lows, and won't be a trading market anymore. And that's my whole point of this chart. Right. So, uh, this uh, I'm saying this is um, next time we do next Tuesday, I'll show that Bollinger Band on this chart and show you where it is. Nice. But we're probably setting at, at a significant low here on that. Uh, yep, I know. I can uh, see that. I mean, I love how they're coming in, testing those strengths with dramatically lighter volume. We know how, I mean, it, you know, it drives everyone up a wall. I know how that works, too. But, you know, the bottom line is that you're coming into strength. Even when I was just looking at AEM, you know, that's it's today... You know, it rejected forty-six dollars seventy-nine cents, and the volume 
is 1.5 million and it's coming at the 75 million. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's yeah, about I as intense as you can get. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, well, I'm thinking, you know, you know, we, we were at, you know, back in the 2000, remember that turn up back then? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking something similar is happening here because this market really hadn't done anything. Right. I mean, it went down from 2012, 2016. Well, 2016, the market was basically a trading market, and we're still in a trading market because this, these, these two indicators, pretty much went. You know, they went up and down, but they pretty much went sideways. So I'm thinking we're building a huge base, and I think, you know, time will tell. But I think this is similar to 2000. Yeah, you know, where nobody kind of believed the gold market because everything's kind of set up for it. But at least we're going to get at least a year or two or longer, probably this a two year rally. If this thing gets above the mid Bollinger Band, you know, we can count on at least a two year rally. Uh, the, and so the thing that's amazing, every, folks, is that when Tim says no one believed on it, including all the gold CEOs, because I was doing all those gold shows. And these gold CEOs yeah. are looking like me. I had five heads, man. I'm telling them, no, 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 no. Everything's going to go up. And they're looking at me. Hey, man, Tom, I hope you're right, but I think you're out of your freaking mind. That's exactly what they're saying to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but the time is, it was kind of a unique time and, you know, period. But, you know, it, it all, it's all numbers. If, uh, you know, yeah. if things do go up and, and they peak out. We'll point that out, right? And we'll have indicators that say, you know, we're we're pretty extended here, so uh, which will time, happen? Because that it, time it, is not now. I'll no, put it that way. no, but that you know, we know that the gold market loves to extend itself. There's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. So we, we can. Uh, we got. Uh, I got two more charts. We got. You got time? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna bring sure. you on the next section too. We can do. Uh, I'll go to the next one. Then we'll take a break and we'll do the next one. All right. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. This. This is uh, point out this chart. I'm doing a lot of stuff with the VIX because VIX shows fear. Yes, and and it, fear is it doesn't work. You know, optimism it kind of works on tops, but momentum works a lot better on tops when things get out of hand. They they call it uh, oh parabolic. Yes, you know, you see a parabolic move, you you, you got to get out. But anyhow, bottoms are a little easier to pick out because everybody is, is kind of like a atom bomb going up, everything right. explodes up. Right. So I do a lot of stuff with the VIX, and uh, uh, yeah, I think we're going to hit Yep, and wait right there, folks. There Tim and I are going to be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 67, NASDAQ's down 123, S&P's are off 16. Don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day. He has a great newsletter at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger Zen. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow's up 70, NASDAQ's down 121. S&Ps are up 15 and a half. We're talking about my man, Mr. Tim Wood. And right now, we're talking about the S&P. Okay, Tim. All right. Um, anyway, the, the bottom window is the VIX. Which when I sent it over to is uh, 1509. Anything below 17, a lot of times you got a trending market. Yeah, you can have pullbacks, but usually not big ones. Not, not otherwise this thing would be going through the ceiling. So whatever's going on right now is probably not uh, a big decline, at least not yet. That may change. But if you look at the next window up, is yes. the SPX VIX ratio. And I've done this on a weekly time frame and a daily time frame. Daily time frame, which is what this one is here, is a little bit more messier, but it, it, if you know how to read it, you can still see the signals. And basically, how to get a signal, when the S&P is making higher highs, if this ratio is making lower highs, it's usually going into a top. Okay. And all those, the pink area, or the, with the red lines pointing out where the S&P has made higher highs, is, and the uh, SPX VIX ratio made lower highs, those are all worthwhile highs going back. Well, here, if you notice on the right window there, uh, you know, the, obviously the S&P has not made a new high here. We're still quite a ways below the previous highs of uh, what, July. But if you look at the ratio, we made a higher high, barely, but we still made a higher high. Yes. To me, that's a bullish divergence. No, I can see that. That's, that's, the, that's the second one down, right? Yeah, second, yeah, yeah, right. Well, no, I can see it. Okay, cool. Right, right. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, second one up from the bottom. The bottom one right. is a bit. Second, yeah, I have it. Okay, ratio. cool. Right. So, okay, that ain't supposed to happen. Right. So, if it does happen, something uh, weird's going on, and the VIX kind of confirming it. So, I don't think any worthwhile top is forming here. I had a projection, a pullback around a 444 on the SPYs, and. We hit it yesterday, and we're kind of into it today a little bit. You know, we we, we made a lower low. I well, guess see what volume's going to come in, but um, well, anyhow, this is a bullish divergence. So I'm not bearish here at all. I'm thinking we're going to go back up and actually break the previous high of July. And that's about the most time. deviant thing the market could do, right? Break a high in September. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it. And so, and so anyhow, that high it will be important because. Say we do go up and break the high. Say, that's, say this indicator it does work, and it, and it implies we're going to go back up and test the high because the SPX or the SPX fix ratio leads the SPX. Yes. Well, if it leads, this says we're going to go back up to the old high, and the SPX is still below its old high. So we're going to go back up to the old high now. If it does, and this ratio makes a lower high, that's where the top comes in. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm with you. Well, you know it's so intriguing. Like when you look at this, folks. Okay. So, you know, the, the trend that we had coming up, you know, this is the SPY I'm looking at now, right? The bottom line is that okay. you, didn't, you didn't even do a 0 0.382 retracement. You did just over a 0 0.23 retracement. You know, I just put it up here. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, you know, if you deal with Fibonacci sequence, that's about as strong as you can get. So, it, you know, I know this sounds bizarre, but bottom line is that that's how, if you're a Fibonacci believer, that's how this sets up, man. So. Yeah. 
Okay. And so, the, you know, this SPX mix ratio kind of says the same thing. So yes. It's, it's, it's for some reason, we're, we're getting strength here. Why? I don't know. don't care. But, you know, you got to believe the indicators. Well, maybe this time it won't work. Maybe, yeah. you know, but the odds are against that. So right. uh, let's, let's flip over. Okay. I have the last chart. The last chart. Yep. And uh, this is the uh, uh, SPY because volume seems to work better on the SPY than on the SPX. So anyhow, so I use the volume on the SPY and this SPY chart. And the blue area is where the I recorded the ticks and trend. Every time the ticks and trend got in panic levels, yes, that's why all those numbers are on there. I got 1.79 you know, trend and 440 down tick readings or 414. So I recorded all those down tick readings and the trend readings, and it turns out, in that blue area. And so when you go down into that blue area, once you start seeing panics in the ticks and trend, it will continue to show panic in the ticks and trend once you get into that area. And we're entering it right right now as yeah. as we're putting this update on. And the trend, it needs to be, what I learned over the years, the trend read needs to be at least 1.2 okay. to show panic. And we got, as we're doing this, like we got a trend of 1.2. Oh, interesting. And uh, we had... It had ticks yesterday of minus, uh, or a trend yesterday of 1.14. That's not really a lot of panic, but anyhow, if we go f forward here for the next couple of days tomorrow, I bet the trend will start reaching 1.2 or higher over the next couple of days. And I think that's going to say that's support, and we're going to end up with the buy signal, and we're going to go back to the old highs. The reason why the old highs, you go back to chart four. Okay. Because. The SPX VIX ratio says we're going to go back to the old yep. highs. Wow, what a great yeah. breakdown, man! Unreal, yeah. So now you know, it'll be you know the market can prove me wrong, but that's how I'm coming up with the theory that we may go back to 460, which is basically the July highs. And what happens there, I don't know. Right. Uh, you know, to me, I think it's probably could be a, some sort of a high. And it could be a worthwhile high. I'll have to wait and see. You don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's so interesting, too, Tim. I, I watch the dollar a lot, okay? And if we put the dollar up here, watch this. You know, the, the S&P and the dollar go like tick for tick. If, that's, if the dollar goes higher, you know, bottom line, S&P goes lower. And when you take a look at this, um, the, S, the, the dollar, so where we're at is that this number here, the, the number, it, it took out a swing, and it's having a hard time staying over, which is 104.699. We're at 105.009. And, you know, it's just like, oh, uh, you, you just, and, and we, had, we had already come down. What happened is that we already come down with conviction, you know, about a week and a half ago. And then what does it do? <laughs> the bottom line, it goes right back and breaks the trend line and goes above it again, but just barely. So, you know, when we look at everything that you have, and I look at this, it's like, you know what, between the S&P and the gold market, you know, if we get that break, that's what's going to, because every time you, you take a look at the, the gold contract, of course, you know, all those highs that we were talking about, that's when the dollar has also failed. I mean, I remember when I started the gold report at $282, the, do the dollar was 121, 121.50. <laughs> and then it went all the way down to 89. Wow. That's, that was the number at 2000 to 2011. That was the, the longer run. Was that wild? So, you yeah, know. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah so, but, Pretty cool, but, man. You know, but, yeah. But we should start seeing panic as we're, you know, right around this 4-4 range because this is kind of where sport is. So, yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Know, it's amazing. Week, it's an expiration week. No, and I know. It's amazing out here. time. Yeah, 67% of September's were up. So the odds are saying we'll have some sort of a rally. So this may be setting up. Of all the days to trade, too, I think Fridays are the best day to trade. I think they, they make you sweat over the weekend. I, I love guess. it. Or some, whatever the market gods want to do, yeah. they make you sweat over the weekend. Well, but, you know, it's wild so it is that, you tomorrow. know. We'll have to wait and see. No, I'm with you. Because on the open today, you know, we had that trend run to 137, man. <laughs> it was yeah. like, okay, you know. Yep. Well, listen, Tim, it's always a pleasure, man. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday.
right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is trading uh, up 86. NASDAQ is down 108. S&Ps are off 13. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industry is up 65. You get the Nasdaq down 116. S&Ps are up 15 and a half. NFL tonight, folks, and it's going to be really weird, man, because i got to figure out how I'm going to watch it because I got Spectrum. You know, if you get Charter, Spectrum, all these things, it's like... They don't have ESPN, so I'll figure that one once I get off. But um, this is going to be quite a war between, uh, evidently, you know, ESPN, Disney, and um, Spectrum. And if you if you do have it, you know, when you put it on, it's like they want you to back them up. It's like, are you out of your mind, man? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I mean, because the first time I get any time, the, the bottom line is I'll just get rid of it because it's easy. And then figure it out from there, you know, so... Market wise out here, so even the indices, what we'll see with the indices here, watch this. The indices are going to have lighter volume too, if we take a look. We had lighter volume yesterday. The day before we had 872, yesterday at 827. This will come in lighter than 827 today, probably coming at 800. We're at 470 right now, but at the close, the close comes in with quite a bit. If we go into the composite, we take a look at the composite. The composite had 4.4 Friday, 4.2 yesterday, now we're at 3.7. So 
We'll see if they put a half million, but I suspect what you're also going to see is that that also is going to be a contraction of volume. Now, that's really hard to get when you do have the aspect of the expansion of volume with Apple. I mean, Apple, you know, and Apple to me looks like it's going to go a lot lower. So, you know, this is going to get really intriguing watching this shake out because what that is going to do, it's going to be a drag on the indices because you remember, you know, Apple's one of the biggest ones in the indices. But that being said, guess what? You know, bottom line. In fact, if we go watch this, if you go to the Dow, right? So this gets wild. Let's see. The Dow is positive, yet Apple is putting 33 negative points in it. Oh. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Tune in 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll have Jacob on. Tommy's in Mallorca. Tommy and little Tommy, uh, he's going to a wedding. His best friend's getting married. He's the, you know, what do you call it? The best man. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.